Welcome to your magical moon message. You didn't see that. This is the, or that either. This is the peace dealer. Society is rigged. Shout out to Ray Powers, my good friend Ed Ray. Um, hope to get more of these and put them out. This is an old brand. <coughs> I think a few years old, but still rocking with it. Moon in Cancer, Sun in Libra. Cancer is the juice. Scorpio is the sauce. Pisces is the cream. Oh, yes. The cream on top. But yes, you need that juicy substance in order for the liquid to nourish your soul. Water, 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 water. Fun fact, Sun Saturn 50 Cent made a hundred million plus dollars selling water. Jaden Smith, Capricorn Moon Cancer Sun, has a water company. You can't make this shit up. This is science. Okay, the water sign sold water? Really? <laughs> anyway, my bad. This is a special understanding of your classic character you are now getting ready to complete, okay? This might be a little bit bittersweet because you might be a wrestler, whether you've turned heel or face, um, that wins a resounding victory. Uh, and unless you're a Sag, if you're a Sag and Leo, you're gonna get cheered regardless. You climb up the turnbuckle and everyone's booing you. Boo! And this is your defining moment. This is your breakout victory. And instead of like being like, what? Really? You're just like, yeah! You're basking. You're basking in the energy. Because outside of your brain's ability to process your subjective meaning of what you might feel is good or bad, it's all just energy. Okay, hate is just yet a distortion of love. The opposite of love is not hate. It's just, hate is just a form of love. It's a distorted, um, you know, more extreme facet. The opposite of love is indifference. So yeah, with that being said, you're gaining a special understanding of now relative to the identity of who your super self is. Now you're getting ready to push forward and feel that. Feel with aided synchronicities, the interconnectivity of how the astral realm overlaps the physical like a Pokemon Go augmented reality that you need your third eye to open to see the elements of the astral through the causal realm of your mind. Shout out Uranus and Aquarius. <gasps> and shout out those of you born 98 uh, and beyond with Uranus and Aquarius. You clear cognizant freaks. Oh, yeah. I'm going to snitch on y'all when Pluto goes through Aquarius. All you people born after 95. Yeah, new generation. You're not, you're not off the hook, too. I'm going to snitch on y'all, too. But, but I don't want that smoke yet, so I'm going to wait. Anyway, yes, we've reached the completion of Libra. And it's one thing to understand who you are. It's another thing to feel it. Okay, you understood who you are with the full moon in Aries connected to the nodes of past life. Like someone who, 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 who basically gained insight into who they used to be or in who they are now, but they had amnesia. They haven't awakened yet to the feeling of who they were. So it's like, yeah, you were told full moon in Aries that, yeah, you're a race car driver. And I did mention the unlocking of these memories starting full moon Aries. That was the beginning. Yeah, you used to be this race car driver in this same lifetime, but you forgot your memories because of a car crash. And like you you're being told that you're the greatest racer of all time, but it doesn't feel like that. You don't remember what that feels like. You don't remember whooping at 95 miles an hour, just completely lapping all the other racers and coming into the gold like you always do. All right. And that's where the moon in Cancer that's going to oppose Pluto of awakening and extreme destruction will really, at the end of this transit, facilitate a mini boss battle so that you can, with this pressure, awaken the feeling. This is where you now understand the feeling of who you've always been. This is where you start to realize, oh, my memories are back. I feel this race driver I used to be. Now in that memory, in that feeling, your memories come back and now you whip in even better than you used to whip it before. Because now this temporary state of amnesia 
helped you develop and create an aspect of yourself that you've never had before, which now can be integrated into who you've always remembered yourself to be. And moving forward, you're going to see uh, season three of the Breakthrough Arc also sponsoring the I Told You So tour. Okay, Sagittarius wants to call it the I Told You So motherfucker tour, and it's just not kid friendly. Sag got angry at us because it it, it wasn't it was too PG, and and Sag, you know what I'm saying? We we gotta sell tickets, my dude. We can't just you know what I mean. I know you want to show your tits and and everything and make it that kind of show. It's not that kind of show, Sag. I you got it. You got to show. You got to show. Maybe in your season, Sag, we'll, we'll temporarily call it that. This is this is PG friendly. We're in Libra. It's polished. You know what I'm saying? But it is the I told you so tour because I told you so. <laughs> Shout out to the Midheaven podcast. Um, yeah, don't worry. Season three may come. Don't, 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 just 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 be just just keep that in mind. The show is not over indefinitely. But those were two seasons, two years of Candace and I just kind of telling. Just, 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 just snitching. Just, just, just. So we on that. I told you so, so tour. Because everything we said in that series came true. Everything we were beating the news, and y'all were the best part of it. Just tuning in every week. We really created something. But the beautiful thing, or and the beautiful thing about this is the functionality of you understanding the meta, the meta human power potential of how in this completion of the harvest we've done over the past week, you're getting ready to move forward and take forward this understanding to now activate in a week from now the new moon eclipse, which will initiate a six month arc preparing you for war. Now, on one level, this war is going to be conventional where it's possible. Once again, I'm not really a mundane astrologist, but it's possible that we might see war break out. You know what I'm saying? But the war that's really occurring, even if there's no World War Three or a traditional war that breaks out, this is still the road to warfare. By the time Saturn comes into Aries and now our personal freedoms are limited as an integration of the activation of Saturn and Capricorn, which began these limits at an authoritative collective level in 2020 when Saturn was in Capricorn. Now they're going to get ready to integrate that during the New World Order 2025, where now they're going to be able to directly limit your personal freedoms. That's what's going to really lead into a lot of war. The last time America had a civil war, Neptune was in Aries and Uranus was in Gemini. Well, where's Neptune? Pisces getting ready to go in Aries. And where's Uranus? Taurus ready to go into Gemini. So we are going to see a resurgence of these themes as now this new cycle since the 1700s has come back around to repeat or learn from history and at least do something a little different, even though we see a lot of the same themes. If you think about the French, Haitian, uh, American, um, shoot, even the Russian Revolution, you had a lot of monarchs, you had a lot of people at the top who would just create these class systems and use people and s spend all the money. And this created the lower classes to revolt. If you don't think something like that is happening where the rich are getting ready to be eaten, if you don't think these rich people don't know that themselves, you're going to know. I mean, everyone's eventually going to know. We're going to see this play out, except there's so much more regulation. And so the one thing that mainstream and government wants to keep completely off the table is your conscious awakening. To talk about supernatural abilities in this sense goes against the experts and the mainstream peer-reviewed research that relative to every country is the official standard of science. Why does the official standard of science not acknowledge your man-made and God-given ability to create your reality outside of declassified leaked CIA documents? It's because they're afraid. They don't want to tell you about the extraterrestrial beings outside this atmosphere because you won't go to fucking work in the morning they want to create life extending rituals and tech through technology that make you live up to 120 so that you can work for the elites much longer no one wants to live that long uh saturn returns exist for a reason originally you would start to get cranky around 30 and it's just really opening up these questions i'm not here to say that they're right or wrong i'm just here to tell you these are things 
You could even consider these unsubstantiated claims, but I'm speaking these to let you know this is what people are talking about. And that really matters a lot more uh, in this stage where things are still very foggy with Neptune in Pisces than what is actually real or right, given that so much is hidden from us until the great disillusionment, the great disillusionment is Saturn, Neptune, and Aries, which is already happening over the next two years. This is enabling you to maintain this war of fighting for your authenticity just being you you don't need to pick up a gun unless it's to protect your family or people you love you don't need to fight or argue with people your conscious decision to maintain the authenticity of your character will make you a threat going against the status quo of what people say is real classic example if you're a woman who has the audacity to stand on the fact that you are a woman and not a birthing person, you're technically walking down your villain era and you're a bigot because I can get pregnant and have periods. You see how fucking stupid I sound? So like, this is it. This is it. That's just one example. And you're going to really see what you're made of. But before we step into that six month arc, we have one more week, which is going to really kick off the essence of this breakthrough which is going to help you feel everything you've grown to get to this point, okay? The sextile with Jupiter and Uranus to the moon in Cancer is going to help you feel as you open the doorway into this conjunction that we had three to four days ago. So that 28 day cycle I spoke about, now we're getting ready to open a door with the 60 degree sextile of the moon in these planets, which is going to take that understanding of the physical senses you've awakened again over the next 28 days to now start to feel the direction to produce more of these effects coming into the moon in Virgo, where we're going to really complete the integration of this cycle. That being said, with the trine to Neptune and Saturn, the beliefs that are being reinforced will gain more power as you're able to induce a supernatural ability of harnessing this psychic soul understanding of your classic character in ways that since this is a 10th house transit where the moon is going to reach 270 degrees relative to the sun, whereas we started this transit with the moon in Capricorn, we are going to feel how in a short three weeks we have effectively integrated and harvested these new behavioral patterns. And you'll start to feel the effects of these new patterns on your behavior, where you can still make necessary adjustments to align to the direction that you are cardinally headed. My vocab is on point. I'm sorry. I can tell. I need to do ASMR. Like, this is crazy. Blah, 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 blah. Where we could do, I, 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 where we could do, of course, the current direction to move forward socially. And I'm not trying to, like, marvel at myself or anything, but I was just listening to you watching me and being like, man, this motherfucker is just channeling. Blah, 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 blah. So, other than that, I have to catch myself because I'll just be in the channel and be like, what the fuck am I talking about? Blah, blah. Okay. But, like, yes, this is so, 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 so very classic. This is the special classic. The special classic in the completion of this phase square the nodes opposite Pluto is going to trigger worldwide events that will test 100% whether you can act off of these new beliefs that you have transformed. Because it's one thing to say it, but if you can't act it, you're fraud. So with that being said, you are going to feel the fear opposite Pluto and the pressure to break through against opinions, traditions, that go against how you sincerely feel about who you are and how you want to express that. Even if it's against certain things I believe, like I said before, if you are a trans woman watching this right now and you really believe you can get pregnant, don't let me feeling like that's impossible stop you from truly expressing that if that's what you really express, period. It works the other way around. So with that being said, that trine in Neptune is going to reveal a deeper layer of synchronicities that will betray what it is you're seeing in the physical. Don't be a bitch. Practice the law of assumption. Stay in the end state. Trust your intuition. You're seeing it for a reason. And stop getting, stop reacting to what you see in 3D. Trust your soul and release expectations. Don't try and control it. 
because what's unfolding for you is miraculous. It may not be what you're expecting because we just finished the plot twist, but it's going to break you through the way it's supposed to protect yourself, your soul, your emotions, and prepare for glory because the moon's going to go into Leo. And now that's going to be the 11th house signature that will prepare the rewards from this success we're achieving. Remember, 10th house signature is success. You're going to feel the success by awakening into who you have evolved into, and it's going to be special and classic. You're getting ready to come into the special feeling of who you express yourself to be. Y'all stay blessed as always. Enjoy the psychic upgrades. Godspeed.